Hi, it's Alexis from Genesis Media. I've got a tutorial today uh, showing you how to add a custom font to your Joomla 3 website. Now, don't worry if you're not on Joomla 3 or you're not on Joomla at all. Uh, these techniques and uh, the principles work for any kind of website. So, uh, follow along. It's fairly intermediate. We'll be using a code editor, um, both Dreamweaver and from the Joomla admin uh, itself. Um, yeah, so if you're a noob, follow along anyway because you'll have to learn this stuff eventually. And if you go to the blog at genesismedia.net.au forward slash blog and find the adding the custom font to Joomla 3 article, you'll see that I've got step by step instructions with pretty pictures and stuff as well. So, yeah, I'm going to do the tutorial fairly quickly um, so that you don't get bored. But if you have to pause the video, that's cool. Um, I think this is a really good thing to learn. You can make your websites look a lot more stylish and still have your fancy fonts for your headings and that kind of thing read by uh, search engines and also electronic readers for like the visually impaired, um, which is really important. So yeah, previously if we wanted a, a heading that was in like uh, this dark crystal font or something like that, you'd have to create it in Photoshop or Publisher, um, something like that. Save it as a PNG with a transparent background, upload the image to your website and use that. And it's great, it looks good and everything, but yeah, as I said, you can't, the Google can't read it and um, nor can the electronic readers. So let's start off. I'm going to be working on this demo website. It's just a, a basic install of Joomla 3. No template installed, just the standard um, Protostar template. It's hosted locally, as you can see up here in the URL. So uh, I'll just be using the, the file finder to navigate to different folders. Uh, if yours is online, that's cool. You just use your cPanel um, file, uh, what is it? file manager or, or FTP to just go to the same directories. So first things first, we'll grab our custom font. Um, let's just see. Yep, I don't have anything yet. So, all right, I'm using a free font from fontsquirrel.com. This is a cool website because we've got free fonts and also it has this web font generator, which we're going to be using a bit later on. So I found this font called Alex Brush. So, of course, I'm going to download that. So you can use either a um, .ttf, a true type font, or a .otf, the open type font. Either or is fine because we're going to have to convert it anyway. And <clears throat> okay, so I'll unzip my font file that I've just downloaded, and you can see here I've got the .ttf file. You can install it on your computer while you're there as well, so you've got an extra font to use. We're going to go back to Font Squirrel, up to their web font generator, and upload that font that we just downloaded from them into here. So I'll select the font. It will load. I just keep this button checked for optimal, and then you check the box to say yes. Uh, the font that you're uploading, you are leg legally eligible to embed in your website. Click download kit. It shouldn't take long. They actually write out some code for you and trans um, they convert it into a few different file types. Okay, it's downloaded. It's called a web font kit. We'll unzip it. And in it, you'll see a bunch of files including a style sheet, which we're actually going to turn to turn into a custom style sheet that you can use to style other things on your website as well. But it also has now turned the TTF file into these other types of fonts so that your custom font can be read on a variety of devices and browsers like iPads, um, mobiles, whether it's uh, yeah Apple or, or PC, uh, Firefox, Chrome, uh, Opera, whatever, whatever you're using, these fonts will have you covered. So we're going to select .svg, the .ttf, the .woff, the .eot. So there's four of them. I'm going to copy them with a Control Command C, Control or Command. 
uh, C and over into my Joomla install. You can see, if you're familiar with Joomla, you'll see these are our Joomla files that you'd usually have in your public underscore HTML file, uh, folder or your www folder online. I'm going to keep, I like to keep all my system files in the template folder nice and neat over there where um, where your users, your clients can't access them from here. So it keeps it nice and neat. So go into your templates folder and then up to the folder for whatever template you're using. And because we're just using the standard one, it's Protostar. And I've actually gone and already created this folder called fonts. And look at that. I've actually already copied the fonts in there. So on a standard install, you won't have this folder, so you'll have to create it, fonts. Uh, you can call it whatever you want, but this is easy. Okay, so there and there, we will go back to the web font kit, kit that we downloaded, and now we're going to open up the stylesheet.css, and you can see that it's already created the at font face CSS for us, calling up uh, the fonts. What we have to do now is we're going to save this file or if you're online you're going to upload this file <clears throat> to a folder in your website. So I will file, you can't see this, it's off screen, file save as um, um, um. Uh, just navigating to Okay, so I'm going to save this in the template folder as well. So templates, protostar, and it's already got a folder here called CSS. So I'm going to save it in there and I'm going to call it, you can call it whatever. I'm going to call this custom so that I know exactly what it is. I'm going to save that there. Okay, so now we have to direct these URLs to the place where we just uploaded those fonts. So the way to do this, I'll just show you, we'll go back over to here. The file that we're working on is this one, right? The custom.css. So from here, we need to point it back one directory. Then we need to tell it to find the fonts folder. So to do that, <clears throat> in the URL, if you want to go back one directory, the URL should have in front of it dot dot forward slash or backslash, whatever that is. Um, and that'll go back into our template folder, the protostar folder that is, and then fonts forward slash. So you'll actually have to do that to direct it to where the files are, otherwise, it won't work and just copy that in front of all of those URLs like so. Okay, next step, because this is going to be our, um, our custom style sheet, we can add the style, the CSS style, changing um, whatever it is to, to, um, to this font family. And if I just duck over to um, the test install, what I want to do is change this heading here, custom fonts. Have a look over in the back end, it's a module called custom fonts. And you can see here in the tiny MCE editor, if I highlight this, that it is heading three. If you're using a HTML editor, um, it's very easy to see what you need to change. It's an it's in a H3 tag, so we'll jump over here. We want to change H3, so we'll type in H3, and then in the curly brackets, we will we can essentially just copy this up here, like that. Copy that in there. Now, you won't always have to do this, but sometimes you'll have to, before you put in the semicolon, type in exclamation mark important because sometimes this is needed to override core features of the website so yeah you can try it without if it's not working try adding in important and that makes this rule operate first so I know that in this case we have to 
Um, so I'm going to save that. Why is that thing showing there? It's annoying. I don't know. Okay, so we've saved it. The very next thing we have to do is link this style sheet to our website. Currently, it's just a file uploaded in a folder somewhere. It's not doing anything. So to do this, I'm actually going to show you how to code edit from within the Joomla admin itself. Uh, you, you can do it either, or you can do all of the editing up in here if you want. Um, I just thought I'd show you two ways. <clears throat> Go under extensions, template manager. Instead of going into the template here, over on the left, go into templates. If you're not using Joomla, just find your main index file. And this is where you'll have to link your style sheet. Click on this here and you'll see this file, this file structure. This is the file structure and folder structure that we have over here, in here. <clears throat> so we're going to edit our index.php file and just to show you again where that is, that's in templates, protostar and it's in here somewhere. Where is it? There. That's the file. It's not this file. We do have an index.php in our main. It's not that one. That is not the file. You've got to go into templates. Okay. Now if you scroll down in a standard install of Joomla, you will come across this. Add style sheets. Um, oh, I already did this earlier. I'll delete that. Pretend you didn't see that. Okay. Um, and you will come across, it'll have this line here calling the main template CSS. Now what you can do is you can just copy it. And paste. And then we'll change that to the name of our custom style sheet, which was custom.css. Make sure it goes above this template line and that way it should be calling it will call all the rules from this style sheet first before it goes to this one and because we want our custom style sheet to have priority here so it actually goes um, up here and this kind of works this is the whole concept of style sheets CSS stands for um, cascading style sheet so it works from the first one down um, so click save up there and we've just edited our index file and if we go to the front and refresh, there we go. We have just changed our H3 tag to the Alex brush font. Yay. And we can, let's go in and edit our custom CSS file from the Joomla admin. Remember it's in our CSS folder. There it is. I might just make it a little bit bigger. And we can do that by putting in our semicolon after the first rule and Uh, we'll try 26 pixels and we'll put in our important as well because we're overriding a core feature save it let's go back to the front refresh that's good I like it and there you are so yeah if you have any difficulties with that just go through step by step on the blog again um, watch the video again i think it's something really worthwhile learning and it could probably set you apart from some of your competitors so enjoy mm -hmm.